Hi, it's Sue. Welcome back to my channel today. Um, where I am working on Junk Journal January and quotes. I've said it again. I keep saying quotes. And do you know what? I think it's because I look at this and my eye goes straight to quote. I need the word prompt on here somewhere. <laughs> anyway. It's prompt number three, and then I will also be working on prompt number four. So prompt number three is throwback. And I've actually started painting uh, this page. I'd done a uh, sort of, um, what do you call it, gesso background, and added a little bit of the pinky color, and now I've added a bit more and also some sort of bluey grey, turquoisey grey colour. Now, throwback. I'm going back to my journal, junk journal January for last year. I think it was last year's. Should put dates on them, shouldn't I? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it is. This is 2023. And um, this page here, I added a pocket that was a paper bag and um, onto that I added a, um, a tissue ruffle with some images okay and that prompt was decorated this time I'm going to change it up I am going to use a bag let's put that one over there out of the way I've got a paper bag somewhere on my desk and um, I'm going to be using that, oh there's the prompt, well that's a step in the right direction, okay prompt and here is my paper bag and it's a cut down paper bag. I ended up with the top portion but what I've done is I've taped that down and my intention is to make a flip a flip on the side of this page and have to be careful because that is still a bit damp okay so this is going to be a flip and to cover the front of the pocket I have this pretty watercolor image from a book just move that up there out of the way which is this one and um, this is an Australian, I uh, can't think of the name at the moment. It's one of the bottle brushes. Um, I'll, I'll write it somewhere, I'll add that name. But um, I'm going to add that to the front here. And what I've done, I've torn across at an angle there. And rather than a ruffle, this time I'm going to use some lace. And I'll just decide which is the right way around. I think it's that way. Okay, and I want to add that lace across here. Okay, it really only needs to go to that point there. So what I'm going to do, I'll do that first by adding some glue all along this edge. And I've already inked this piece. So we'll just ink up along there and because this is quite narrow lace, I'll do it that way around, okay. Yeah, I want to get it as close as I can to the bottom so that you do see that lace, okay. And I think that's pretty good. And it just needs trimming off here. Okay. Pop that to one side, re glue that piece down. So that will go on the, oh sorry, on the flip 
here. And I'll probably trim that up a bit more, I think. Yeah, definitely. Okay. So that's going to fit on there. And I thought also I'd add the prompt here along the bottom. Okay. So I'm not going to do that straight away because I have to add something on the flip side. And I thought I would use another piece of my painted paper. And I've added a bit more colour to this. I've been working as just before I put the uh, camera on, I added a few more pieces just using the end of a cotton reel dipped into the paint and um, just added that on the back there and I think that's dry now so that's good we could go ahead actually the other side is quite pretty too but I like the pink in that one how are you today I hope you're well I hope you're settling into the new year and if you're playing along you're having fun with Junk Journal January I want to make time to go and check out the girls' um, videos, get inspired for some more pages. So just trim that off. There we go. And I'm going to just make sure that that is down well. Ink around the edges. And I'm not inking very heavily, I just want to um, define those edges. Okay, so both sides of that are now on our pocket and it can now be added onto the side of the page. I also added a few more splatters on the inside piece, the painted piece. Um, Practice makes perfect, hey? <laughs> I'll keep practicing. It needs to be practically on the edge, not quite on the very edge of the page. That should do. Yep, that's fine. Okay. Oh, my splattering wasn't quite dry, never mind. That's okay. Now on this side, I gathered some lace. And this time, I thought I'd do um, a piece of lace just across the top here. Just to add a bit more texture to the page. Trim that off. And I think I'm going to add it on that way around. And literally so that it sits within the page. And doesn't poke out at the top. And I don't need that end piece. So let's get rid of that. And because that top piece is a um, is book page and it's quite shiny book page, it's very hard to get the paint to to stick properly. Um, it would need a bit more paint than I was prepared to add. <laughs> Make sure that's stuck down well. And then here I wanted a bit more journaling space, so I have couple of pieces of tea dyed paper and I thought I would add them like this just a bit different and again I'm going to stick with this art glitter glue I want just overlapping like this and I mean you could 
so you won't see that when that's closed. And you could do some pen work just to add something on there, but I'm going to leave it for journaling, a bit of extra journaling space. And then I want my prompt that I've inked ready to go down here. Actually, I think I'm going to take that down a little bit and sit down there. And for the pocket, I've handwritten another quote. <laughs> it's all about quotes. Um, I'll show you that in a moment. I'm just trying to stick that onto my... So yes, this is my quote. And I've just written on to some um, paint splattered Project Life card. Plenty of room for journaling on the back. I've gone around the edges a bit with paint, just to add a bit more colour. Add more on the corners. It's just what's left in the palette, really, or on the palette. So, yes, fate doesn't decide, you do. So that's my quote for day three and that slots into the pocket here and then if you flick it over this is this page and I was thinking I could add this down here will I let's ink it up and have a look at it just as something other than the painted paper because you can actually read the script on this not that I'm bothered by that but you know some people might be and then um, that will be prompt number three completed which way that way there we are All right, so that is my throwback, and I'll show you, let's get rid of that in a moment. The original was this one. Yeah, I still like this one. I like that image, um, and I just put, I just had some journal card, um, tags in here, and I think they were made from clothing tags those so in here we've just got the quote okay number three completed and I might even add a small number three up there as well so onward number four that's up next hopefully see you in a moment okay so we're on to prompt number four which is tuck spot Just pop that up there out of the way and this is the page next page along which is another page that I've covered with my painted pieces so we'll take the oops, take the um, prompt piece out and then that can go away. Just leave that there. Leave away. Okay, now for this piece, what I thought was, I'm going to add a bit of text over the back here, and I am going to put a tuck spot up in this top corner, and it's basically a fabric tuck spot be laces and pieces of fabric now I'm using this stamp but if you can see I've used this on the jelly plate so it does have paint on there um, I just want I don't want a lot of stamping I just want it in a couple of different places and I'm using Victorian velvet which hopefully will have been a good decision on my part. There we go. 
do a bit more there. And that's really all I need. Just as something extra on that page. And I've managed to get it all over my fingers, of course. Why not? Okay, so we'll just tuck that up there for a moment to let it dry. This piece needs inking. And um, we'll pop that up there until we're ready for it. Right, so these are the pieces of fabric and lace that I've picked. And I've picked this scrap of paper and I've obviously stamped this onto this paper. And there is um, also uh, some paint on here. Uh, it's just a scrap really. And I want a piece at the back to actually glue to the page, the top part. So I'm going to use that as the base. And then I have a piece of cotton. Some of this netting, which is quite nice. Layer it all up. Some organza. And some lace. And I think... I think I'll put the lace down first and the organza, organza on the top like this and then this piece will sit on the top like that. Okay so let's get gluing. Um, what will we use? Actually I'm going to stick with our glitter glue for the time being because I'm not 100% sure, I might do some stitching on this. So first off, let's get some glue over here. And that will do. And then it's this piece. Now this piece is going to be hard to glue down. I think the following piece on will be what holds that into position. So we just take that up to the top a little bit, a bit more. Let's see how this works. And that's the right way around. Um, what did I want it? I wanted this to go across. Now I can feel that glue coming through so hopefully that's going to hold that piece in place and then this piece will go right on the top and I think I will end up stitching this I want this piece to show through. Okay, add that there. And then my paper piece will go on here. Like so. So you'll see the layers more down here than anywhere. Okay. glue down here. Okay, so then that will be attached to the page at the top here. And this becomes the tuck spot, which is why I wanted that piece of paper underneath. That just makes it a bit more stable, but I might need a bit more glue on there. Good. And then what I was thinking was I would try and stitch all the way around the edge of this just to be 100% sure that it's going to hold. Okay, so I'm going to go away and do that. I'll be back. Okay, so this piece has now been stitched all the way around. 
so it makes it much more stable. Um, you've still got, you know, the um, the bits poking through here. I might just do a bit of pulling to rough that up a bit. There we go. And then that will sit in the top corner. I don't mind that it flicks over particularly. I don't think that's an issue. Might pull it around a bit. That's a bit better. So now we'll add that onto the top here just by gluing probably as far as I can over to this corner and down to here. So let's use the art glitter glue again. Just make sure that this is enough um, glue down to hold, you know, work as a um, a tuck spot. That's what I'm trying to say. I don't want to go right to the very edge. I'm almost on the edge there. So that's looking reasonably good. Happy with that. Look how that bled there. That's amazing. Anyway, never mind. Right, now to add to the tuck spot, I have this little envelope. And this was cut using one of Tim Holt's dies. Okay, so it needs to be added together, glued together. I can't remember how I do them. Maybe it's the other way, that way. All right. And I thought we'd decorate the front. And I've got these bits. This was from one of Meg's freebies. These flowers were attached to a label, I think. I've got another piece of fabric here. And that's the right way around. Thought we might add that along the bottom. And um, these two pieces, and this will be my quote. When nothing is sure, everything is possible. Okay, so first off, let's join this together. So I say, the, these should be quick and simple little pages. We don't want to labour too long over them. Okay, there's my envelope. And let's get the bits along the bottom. I just want that frilled edge showing. And we'll add the flowers. Can't decide which way. Maybe that way around. Yeah, I've lightly dusted them with the um, vintage photo around the edges. Let's glue this. Like I say, my um, Video shouldn't be too long for this project, um, for this month. So, you know, spread the word. I'd like a few more people come and visit, would be nice. And um, if you are here and you're watching this video, please, um, please be kind. Don't just watch and walk away. Give it a like, a thumbs up. It just means, you know, by doing that, my videos um, are assisted a bit more by YouTube. 
they spread them around a bit more which is always good. They take a while to make these videos, not just the putting together but the editing and uploading and so forth. So I really appreciate it if you could do me that little favour. It's a great way to help that doesn't cost you anything other than a finger touch. <laughs> Okay, so that's my little envelope and inside I'm going to add a scrap of paper to, um, to journal on. Let's work this out. It's that long, maybe a bit shorter like that. Okay, I'm just going to trim this off at the side. There we are. Fold that up. And that's really just a little journaling spot. Okay. And that's going to go up here. And I've also got somewhere, here it is, another piece. And this, um, you could journal on the back of that too. So those are the two pieces I want tucked under there. Okay, now where are we going to put the quote, the um, prompt? Maybe here or across there, it might be a bit... Yeah, it's a bit big for there. We'll put it down here. Okay. So that's prompt number four. Tuck spot. Done. Tick it off the list. Number four. nice it's starting to get chunky <laughs> so there you go number four is a tuck spot with a little envelope inside with some journaling paper plus another piece which is um, project life card okay and they just tuck under there all right thank you so much for taking the time today and um, I hope you'll come and visit next time when I think I will be up to three prompts. Um, yeah, we'll see. Not sure whether it's two or three. Okay, until then, please take care and I'll see you soon. Bye. Mm -hmm.